Ustad Dawood Burbank, rahimahullah, may Allah have mercy upon him. And may Allah grant him al-jannah. Um, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in Surah Al-Fajr, وَالْفَجْرُ وَلَيَالٍ عَشْرٍ By the dawn and by the ten nights. By the ten, the ten nights. Al-Sheikh Abd rahman bin Sa'di, rahimahullah, he said, he swore an oath after it by the ten nights. Because he said, وَالْفَجْرُ وَلَيَالٍ عَشْرٍ وَالْفَجْرُ وَلَيَالٍ عَشْرٍ So, وَالْفَجْرُ he swore by the dawn and he swore also by the ten nights. And they are upon the correct saying, the last ten nights of Ramadan or the first ten days of Dhul Hijjah, since they are the nights which comprise virtuous days and such acts of worship and devotion occur in them as do not occur in other than them. So, there are some scholars who say they are the last 10 days of Ramadan. And others, they said, they are the days of the Hijjah, and the days of the Hijjah seems to be more correct, and Allah knows best. So, the Sheikh, Abd rahman bin Sa'di, he said, so in the last 10 nights of Ramadan, Laylat al-Qadr, the night of decree occurs, which is better than a thousand months. And in their days, the fasting at the end of Ramadan occurs, which is one of the pillars of Islam. Because the fasting of the month of Ramadan is one of the pillars of Islam. And in the first 10 days of Dhul Hijjah, there occurs the standing in Arafah. Standing of Arafah, which is the ninth of Dhul Hijjah. Where, wherein Allah forgives his servants with forgiveness that causes Satan to grieve. And indeed, because the shaitan, he grieves at that time because Allah forgives all the sins that they have committed throughout the whole year. So the shaitan now, he grieves. So, shaitan is never seen to be more humiliated and rejected than he is on the day of Arafah, Allahu Akbar. Because of what he sees from the descending of the angels and mercy from Allah upon his servants. And many of the actions of Hajj and the Umrah occur in them. And these are matters greatly honored and are deserving that Allah should swear an oath by them. Because there are great days the day of Arafah is, is, is the best day. And then you have the day of Eid also, what takes place on the day of Eid, the 10th. Ramil Jamarat, stoning, Jamarat al-Aqaba, and then the sacrificial animal, and also the shaving of the, of the head. And the people, they go and they make tawaf al-Ifada. Look how many acts of worship are there. The people making adkar, Takbir, and other than that, so so many acts of worship occur on these ten days of the Hijjah. Al Imam Al Tabari, uh, Ibn Jarir Al Tabari is one. Of, uh, Ibn Jarir Al Tabari is one of the most distinguished scholars of Tafsir Al Quran. He said the people of explanation disagree about which ten nights there are. Some of them said they are the ten nights of the Hijjah. Ibn Abbas said the ten nights which Allah swore an oath by are the first ten nights of the Hijjah. This is from, coming from who? Abdullah ibn Abbas. Abdullah ibn Abbas radiallahu anhu. Ikrima said the ten days of the Hijjah. Ikrima also is a student of Abdullah ibn Abbas. He said the same thing. And Mujahid said regarding Regarding the saying of Allah, the mighty and majestic, وَلَيَالٍ عَشْرَ The ten of the Hijjah. Qatada said, it used to be narrated to us that they are the ten of Al-Adha. Means the ten of the Hijjah. Same thing. Ibn Zayd said, the first ones of the Hijjah, 
means the first ones, means the ten, the first ten, ten days of Dhul Hijjah. Whereas others said they are the ten nights at the beginning of Ramadan. However, what is more correct saying is that regard in, in our view is that they are the ten, ten of Al-Adha because of the consensus of, and of the evidence from the people of the explanation. So this is what the Mufassirin are upon. So they are the ten, the ten days of the Hijjah. Abdul Razak, Abdul Razak is one of the scholars of, of Hadith. Abdul Razak Sanaani from Sanaa, Yemen, and he's one of the teachers of Imam Ahmed. Imam Ahmed actually he traveled to him to take knowledge from him. Imam Ahmed and his companion Yahya ibn Ma'in also, they traveled to Abdul Razak Sanaani. He has a musannaf, musannaf Abdul Razak. It's a collection of hadith. He said, in his tafsir from Ma'mar, from Qatada, regarding his saying, وَلَيَالِ Ashr, the first ten of Dhul Hijjah. Allah made them the completion for Musa. For Musa. Masruq said, they are the best of the days of the year. So this is coming from Abdul Razak Sanani in his tafsir. Al Imam Ibn Kathir, Ibn Kathir, the, the great Mufassir, he said, What is meant by the ten nights is the ten of the Hijjah. As was said by Ibn Abbas, Ibn Zubair, Mujahid, and a number of the Salaf and the later people. And it is established in the Sahih of Al-Bukhari, number 969, 969, traced back to the Prophet ﷺ. He said, there are no days wherein righteous actions is more beloved to Allah than these days. Meaning the 10 of the Hijjah. There are no other you know, days where the deed is more beloved to Allah than, the, than in these days. So they said, not even jihad in Allah's cause. He said, not even jihad in Allah's cause. Except for man who goes out with his person and his wealth. And then he did not return with anything from that. Allahu Akbar. And it is said... What is meant by that is the first ten of Muharram. Abu Ja'far ibn Jarir quoted it, but he did not ascribe it to anyone. But the most correct opinion, they are the ten days of the Hijjah. And Abu Qudayma narrated from Qabus ibn Abi Zabiyan, from his father, from ibn Abbas, that he said concerning Walayal in Ashr, it is the First 10 of Ramadan, but what is correct is the first saying. Al Imam Shawkani, Rahimahullah, he said, There are the 10 of the Hijjah upon the saying of the majority of the people of Tafsir. So, majority of the people of Tafsir, it is the days of the Hijjah. Al Sheikh Al Allama Muhammad ibn Salih al Utaymin, Rahimahullah, he said in his Tafsir, Juz Amma, it is said, that what is meant by walayal in ashr is the 10 of the hijjah and the days are referred to as nights. Since the Arabic language is vast, so nights may be mentioned when what, when what is actually meant is the days. And the days can mean the nights. Look at the Arabic language. Allahu Akbar. It is otherwise said, that walayal in ashr means the last ten nights of Ramadan. As for upon the first saying, those who say what is meant by the ten nights is the ten of the hijjah, then this is because the ten days of the hijjah are virtuous days, concerning which the Prophet ﷺ said, there are no days wherein righteous actions is more beloved. Righteous actions. So some people, they restrict it to fasting only. 
No, it's more than that. Fasting is one of the righteous actions. Recitation of the Quran, making adhkar, making dua, giving sadaqah. All these are virtuous actions. Paying someone's debts. Naam, helping someone financially, physically. And other than that, this is also from the righteous deed that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves. So he said, there, there are no days wherein righteous action is more beloved to Allah than these 10 days. They said, not even jihad in Allah's cause. He said, not even jihad in Allah's cause. Except for a man who went out with his person and his wealth. And then he did not return from that with anything. Reported by Al-Bukhari, rahimahullah. Sheikh Uthimini wanted to say, as for those who said that what is meant by the 10 nights is the last 10 nights of Ramadan, then they said the basic principle regarding layali, night, is that it refers to nights and not to days. And they said the last 10 nights of Ramadan contain the night of, the night of decree, little Qadr, concerning which Allah said, خَيْرٌ مِنْ أَلْفِ شَهْرٍ Meaning it is better than a thousand months. And they said, إِنَّا أَنزَلْنَاهُ فِي لَيْلَةٍ مُبَارَكَةٍ إِنَّا كُنَّا مُنْذِرِينَ فِيهَا يُفْرَقُ كُلُّ أَمْرٍ حَكِيمٍ Surah Al-Dukhan, ayat 3 and 4. Meaning indeed we sent the Qur'an down on a blessed night. Indeed we are warning our creation within, within it every ordained affair is decreed. And this saying is stronger than the first saying, even though the first saying is the saying of the majority. So it seems like Sheikh Uthameen is leaning towards this opinion that the, the ten nights are the ten nights of Ramadan. Ten nights of, because they, they contain, because it's nights, ten nights and nights. So the wording does not support the saying of the majority, rather it strengthens the second saying. Now, the second saying. That is the, ten, the, the last ten nights of Ramadan and Allah swore an oath by them because of their eminence and because they contain the night of decree and because with them the Muslim conclude the month of Ramadan which is the time of one of the obligatory duties of Islam and one of the pillars of Islam. So therefore Allah swore an oath by these nights. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us all al-ilm al-nafi' wa al-amal al-salih. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Wa sallallahu ala muhammadin wa alihi wa sahbihi wa sallim.